Hello friends, welcome to this video. I am Rohan Roy and in this video we will deploy the website in your local to the cloud. So let's get to it. Before deploying your code, you first need to understand what type of website you are working with. By that I mean whether your website is a static or a dynamic one. A static website is what you see is what you get. All the code in your website is hard coded and there are a finite number of pages that is more or less same unless you go and change it. Example of this can be a simple portfolio website or a simple website explaining your business. You can of course push this a bit using Ajax call to external APIs, but those external APIs have to be deployed somewhere, right? Uh, those are considered as dynamic and we will get to that next. A dynamic website is where the fun things happen. So any website with lots of changing data or where database is accessed, where users can interact with the page or a new page can be created, etc. is what we consider to be dynamic like Facebook or Amazon. And I will also put APIs that serve JSON data into this category. If all your code is in your local, then what we can do is we can push that code in a uh, for example, a GitHub repository. So let me quickly transition to my screen and show you what I'm trying to say. So if you do not have a GitHub account, then I, uh, I will quickly go to the GitHub page and show you. So go to sign up page and there you can type in your email address and uh, create a new GitHub account. So if you have a GitHub account, then just quickly go to github.com and then go to your repositories and then create a new repository. So I will just cre quickly create a new uh, repository just to show you. So I will just call it hello world dot github dot io. Okay, and I will also create a readme file. Yes, create repository. Okay, in this, uh, you can just see that simple readme file has been created with hello world dot github dot io. You need two more tools to interact with GitHub repository. First is Git and the second is a GUI to interact with Git. So I'm using source tree personally, but you can also use VS code. I will put the link of GitHub downloads and source tree down in the description. You can install these two in your system. You also need to connect your uh, GitHub with your local. So for that, I will quickly go and clone the URL provided here and open my source tree click on new clone from url paste the url and go to projects and create a new folder called hello world create open and clone so that's it now if your local code is not already git then you can just copy paste whatever is there inside this folder if you have a static website, then I will show you two options. One is using GitHub pages and second, we will deploy your code base in render. If you are enjoying the video so far, please like, subscribe, hit the notification icon and share this video with your friends. I will use the tic-tac-toe repo as an example. Uh, if you want to see me create the game of tic-tac-toe, then check it out. I will put the link down in the description. Go to your website repository. I will select tic-tac-toe and then go to settings, go to pages and deploy whatever branch you want. Uh, I will deploy the main branch and then save. Okay, so uh, it takes a few moments. Uh, I will pause the video here and after that I will go to the link that will host the website. So the website will be your username dot github dot io slash repository name. So I will go to this link and you can see that the, my game is hosted now. Next, we will deploy this in render.com. So I will quickly show if you do not have an account, I will quickly show how to create an account. So go to render.com and go to get started and then use your GitHub account uh, to sign into this render. Uh, give yourself the necessary permissions and that's it. So since I already have an account, I will go to it. So it's dashboard.render.com. 
go to static sites and I will use tic-tac-toe and then I will give it tic-tac-toe game and that's it and we don't need any build command or publish directory that's it if you have a published directory then you can define it here like you know uh, public that we defined in uh, in one of our previous videos you can just name name it there like dist client uh, public whatever it will take a few moments i will pause this video here it's live now so let me quickly copy the url and go to it and check if it is working or not see it is working so let me quickly play yes if you have a dynamic website then i will show you two options one is render again and second is cyclic.sh but that is just limited to node application we will use tic-tac-toe with server as our example to deploy a dynamic website this is basically a node application if you want to see me create this application then you can check out that video i will put the link down in the description let's go to the render dashboard here we will create a new web service and inside this we will connect to tic-tac-toe with server we will give it a name tic-tac-toe game 2 since we already used the previous name and just keep whatever it is by default and create a web service it will take a few moments i will pause this video here okay the website is live let's go to that uh, url and check whether it is working or not it's working next we will deploy it in cyclic.sh if you do not have an account use your github account to create one and then go to link your own and inside this what we will do is we will connect to tic-tac-toe with server and then click on connect give the necessary approvals and that's it we will quickly go to this url and check whether it is working or not it's working fine let me quickly check if we can customize this url or not so go to environments and i will try to give it a subdomain of tic tac toe game then save it will take a few moments i think let me refresh the screen and yes it's deployed okay it's working now you may be getting some kind of error while deploying this in either cyclic or render the reason for that may be that you haven't added any commands in your package.json so uh, let's quickly go and check in your package.json scripts you have added at least a start command and if you are using applications such as nest or angular then i will also suggest you to add a build command here inside scripts and then redeploy and see if it is working fine or not it would be a disservice if I don't mention some of the paid service providers like AWS, Google App Engine, Azure, Heroku and even paid tiers in render. If you have a big project and you can afford to spend some money on it then go for it. There are so many good paid service providers. But the focus of this video was to take your website and deploy it as quickly as possible for free. If you have any questions or concerns please write them down in the comment section and I will get back to you. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Namaskar.